guess mine is broken. This ain't going to be working, is it? I don't understand. I really don't. I don't mind things fucking up if there's a reason. I can't stand things fucking up if there's no reason. I've got nothing to go. I just have to assume that you guys can see this. Say in the chat room, fuck, really loudly. And then I will know. Because I got nothing. I go on Twitch on my computer. Black screen. Constantly loading. I go to anyone else's page on Twitch. Black screen. Constantly loading. I use my Tesco huddle on Twitch. Black screen. Constantly loading. In fact, it doesn't actually find it on the huddle, actually, thinking about it. It doesn't even find it. It says no results. I don't exist. I'm a ghost, according to this shit. So my biggest concern really is I've reset the computer, I've taken the fucking router out and put it back in and i still got this problem, so... <laughs> my internet is fucked or something? I don't know. It works on some things, but not on this. That's for sure. So, is it not going to work for tomorrow? Because that seems like a really strong likelihood. Really, really, really not happy about this, as you can imagine. Quite thoroughly pissed off. Untitled broadcast. Witty is offline. Playing Warcraft 3 for 76 viewers. Shows some definity. And then video format or Mimi type is not supported. Quite depressed after that. Uh So annoying. Alright, well I'm playing blind. I'm just gonna play games and then that'll do it. I'll go to bed. Very stressed and angry and then go to work. So that's great. Loving it. Really happy about that. There's no reason for this happening and there doesn't appear to be a fix. So, pretty fucking annoyed, to be honest. Let's do this. Hmm. No, there is no stream on iPad or on anything. Like, it no longer works, my Twitch. So, I've either been hacked or something, or I don't fucking know. Very, very fucking annoying. I got nothing. It's just decided to break itself for some reason. That's the best. That's the best. It's working perfectly fine, and then it's like, you know what would be really good right now? Is if I just fucking stop working for no reason whatsoever. That'd be a really good idea. What the fuck makes it do that? It's fucking pointless.
Hmm. I assume he's... Like, whenever I go into alt-tab, you still get that. I was trying to find a way around it, actually. Like I say, if I start streaming with um, World of Warcraft or something like that. But it doesn't work on that. It doesn't work on Diablo 3, so what the hell? How could the software not recognize World of Warcraft? Like, one of the biggest, oldest programs of them all, and you can't recognize that? Jeez. Pretty fucking basic. Who am I playing? Oh, sorry, am I in the wrong game? Hello. I was all happy before, and now I'm fucking pissed off. I'm thoroughly pissed off. That's really fucked me hard, that has. Because this depresses me, because now I'm like, well... What do I do? Am I fucked for tomorrow? Am I fucked for streaming in the future? I don't know. All it needs to do is one thing, and that's broadcast what I'm seeing on the screen. It isn't rocket science, and a few people have managed to do it on the internet before. So I don't see why it has to be so fucking hard for me. What's the deal with Germans and half Russians? PR again. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna be pretty silent because I'm quite pissed off, so I won't be saying much. I'm all moody now. Not happy. I'm not a happy bunny at all. Something need doing? Yes. 
Royal Blade of Six Ages. What task is there? Excellent choice. My life for the Lord. What so task is there? Can I help you? Oh, ready to work. I We're under attack, Excellent. I am yours. Work can wait. What task is there? Hmm? Get him! I am yours. Yes! Fight! Excellent, you want! Time for killing. Something need doing? Master? Yes, Lord. Are you here and obey? I am yours. Yes? Oh. Master? We're under attack! Yeah. Huh? Stop working! What complete. task is there? What do you want? My life. Yes, Lord. Ready to yes! Work. Master? I am yours. Oh. Yes? Huh? Slow move. What task what is there? Want? Oh. What task is Master? there? Master? Yes, what Lord. do you want? I am yours. Master? What task is there? Hey! Excellent choice. What do you want? What do you want? Something needs What do you want? Mm -hmm. I am I yours. Lord. Yes, Lord. What do you want? Hey! What task is there? Master? Oh. Are you here and obey? Huh? Hey! Master? Yes, Lord. Yes! Yes! Dabu. Obu. Master? Oh! Hey! What task is there? I am yours. Are you here and obey? Yes. Yes, Lord. What task is there? Yes, Lord. Excellent choice. Yes. Oh! Master? Yes, Lord. Hmm? Don't talk. Oh. Are you here and obey? What do you want? I yes. Master, I am yours. What do you want? Yes, Lord. I am yours. Master. Oh. Hey. Yes. Excellent choice. Yes. Are you here and obey? Oh. Yes. Excellent choice. Take to my friend. I am yours. Are you here? Ah. I am yours. Master, time for killing. Yes, Lord. What task is there? Yes, complete. Excellent choice. We're under attack. Oh, my life. Work, work. Something you do. What task is there? Are you here and obey? Huh? Yes, Lord. I am yours. Yes, Lord. Yes. I am yours. Yes. What task is there? Yes. Excellent choice. Huh? Yes. Oh. Master. I am yours. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Master. I am yours. Huh? What task is there? Oh. What do you want? What task is there? What do you want? Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh. Master. 
Search task is there. Are you here and the research huh? complete? Oh, what is this? Excellent tool. Scary. Use my power. Yes. Who be my Some next task is there. Yes. Who do I kill first? It be a what pleasure. You want? Oh, work complete. I am yours. Direct my master. Who be my next big death? Oh, research complete. Excellent choice. Something need doing? I am yours. Yes, excellent. Who do I kill first? What We're under attack. Who be my next big death? Work I am yours. My blade. Ah. We be dominant. Master? Who do I kill first? Work task is there. For the burning blade! Quick! Taste of my breath! Use my power! I am yours! Yes, Lord! Excellent choice! Your work task is there! I am yours! Oh! Are you here and obey? You'll be my next big death! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am yours. Mm -hmm. It be a pleasure. I am yours. Use my power. Yes, Lord. It is a task. I am yours. Yes, what Lord. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Yes, oh, say the word. I am yours. Yes. Oh. Direct yes. my blade. Yes, yes Lord. It be a Word pleasure. Master. Master. Who do I kill first? <laughs> yes, Lord. Are you here and obey? Excellent. Use Lord. my Ready power. It be Say a pleasure. Say the word. Task is there. Yes. Yes, oh, yes. Enemies. Yes, Lord. I, I am yours. Use my power. Word task is there. Good. <laughs> well, I'm still not talking much because my screen ain't working, so pretty not happy. <laughs> Ugh. He put up a good fight. I wasn't quite so confident in that game. <sighs> Why? I'll have to see whether I can actually stream tomorrow or not. I mean, I'm streaming at the moment, but it sucks that I can't. Even I don't go Spirit Walker. I don't know. I think he can go Spirit Walker, but it doesn't always work, and sometimes it gets heavily countered. I don't know. I'm not a pro by any means, so I don't freaking know.
I'll try to. Spirit Walker. There you go. So you can hear me in the background now. So that means Walker, it's actually finally working. So work. I can actually chin up a little bit. Camera. Thank goodness know. for that. I'm not a pro. That's nice. Well, there you go. Thankfully, the stream is back up. So the good news is, is that it's not over completely. Although, the com bad news is, is that why did that happen? Because it, it basically just killed itself. I didn't do anything. So why did that happen? And the other biggest issue is, how can I stop that from happening again? Because I had no control when it happened the first time. So, yeah, I, I was streaming happily, having a good time, and then it just cut out. People in the chat room were like, hey, it's not working. Hey, it's not working. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I can actually see in the top left the symbol. It's like got a little cross for it. So I was like, all right, I'll stop it and start it again. Nope. Restarted the PC. Didn't work. Turned the router off. Put it back on again. Didn't work. And now it's just decided to come back. So that's the worst kind of thing. It, it's good that it's actually come back, but there's no reason for it. So that's super stressful as well. It's like... Well, how do you deal with something that just turns itself off at any point and you don't know when it's going to happen? That's horrible. Imagine that in real life or something, you know, you're just suddenly going to fall asleep. Well, there are actually people with that condition. I can't imagine it, but you, you know, you actually literally just fall unconscious or something for like two hours or whatever it might be. And then suddenly you're back up again. No warning, no nothing. Those people can't drive, that's for sure. Twisted Meadows and Echo Isles seems to be a big theme. Oh dear. I've had one of those days. I've been up since 3.30 a.m. So obviously it's a bit later now. But I've had one of those days where you can't quite relax your back, you know. You're always like trying to keep your back straight and it never feels like it's properly stretched or rested. So maybe I had a bad night's sleep or something. Who won that one, eh? Hmm. Did you change the map? That's not allowed, is it? This is the bit where you hear little Misha and uh, Rexar in the bonus campaign. It's that kind of music. They're roaming around. say the tournament's about halfway through or something like that. Mr. Fadir. I can't see. Anything that's got green text is hard to see on my little huddle. Fadirium. Fadirum. Uh, Shrelix just needs to get in this game. Unless I'm in the wrong game. Again. Well, I'm not sure. But it is called Witty55, so you'd have to assume it's the right one. I'll need to do some testing tomorrow, I think, with the stream. What I'd like to do is start the stream off, although it doesn't work on World of Warcraft or that, but I might be able to start it off on Divinity and then come out. Maybe it's because they're windowed mode and it can't stream things that are windowed. That's my theory actually now. I wonder if I could change the game to windowed whilst it's full screen and then come out of it. It's, it works in a weird way. Very weird way. Mm -mm. Jody. I should really check on that straw poll. See what's going on with that.
I lost the link to the straw poll because I had to reset the PC. Has anyone got a link to that? I doubt it, but it'd be funny if they did. Post it in the uh, chat room if you do. And make sure you do it in capital letters or try to get my attention. Because I might be in a game. Oh, wait. Yeah. He's ready. Is the ready? Sha, sure, das ist gut. Echo Isles. Well, there it is. Let's get cracking. Let's get crack a lacking. stand to be a little bit behind the burrow there. It doesn't need to be so forward facing. Fiends can do so much damage to burrows, can't they? So it needs to be a little bit closer to the wood so the peons can actually get there in time to protect it and the barracks can have a bit more of a barrier over it. You can barrier over it a little bit, but it just messes up with the fiend AI. So if they want to attack it, they'd have to sort of bunch up here. Hmm. I figure it'll be uh, better than nothing. But uh, it's a bit tricky versus Undead, because like I say, they can just turn up in your base with a bunch of fiends and basically siege you down at tier 1, tier 1.5, very early tier 2. Because fiends do so much bloody damage. They are basically siege units, but at the same time they're actually awesome against everything else. So uh, yeah, go Undead, make fiends with a Death Knight, maybe get a Lich, and uh, if you feel like it, Frost Worms and uh, you win. That's how it works. That's what I've been told. I'm that noob red orc again. Anyone play the original Bubble Bubble? That was a seriously hardcore game. Especially as two player. You had to two player it to get through. He does like his acolyte. I can't remember what that's supposed to mean. Soften it up. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's getting graveyard late. What do you want? Yes, while you're playing the six pages. What task is there? Something you do. What do you want? My life for the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Huh? Oh. Yes. Yes, the Lord. Are you a hero and obey? Yes. I'll try. Maybe his hero will be coming out earlier, I think. Yeah. The distraction is real. Don't. Oh, why did I bring that grunt there? Crappy item as well. sell it just yet, but I don't particularly want it. Didn't mean for that either. Gotta wait a little bit. Feels like I've not got enough on count. Gold. Not being the flawless start I was after. But hey ho. Oh, he's done this already. Are you hero and obey? Yes! Are you hero and obey? What do you want? Yes, Lord. Master. What task is there? What do you want? Yes, Lord. Oh. I am yours. Huh? Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh. Huh? So, so. I am yours. Yes. What task huh? is there? Excellent. Yes. Choice. Are you 
I will hear and obey. Ah! What do you want? Time to die. But I am yours. Yes! For the burning blade! Master? Something is doing? What task is there? What do you want? Oh, yes, Lord. What do you want? Huh? Oh, excellent. Hmm. What do you want? Yeah. Wait. Are you hero and obey? Wait. Yes. Excellent choice. Are you hero and obey? I am yours. How are they not ensnared? Oh. I'm pretty sure they should ensnare. Looks like they don't know. You learn something new today. That's weird. That was kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Come on! Fuck me! What does it take? Get a little bit screwed over on that. He's got a lot of units. That's a nice surround. But I wonder how long these skeletons last for. Ah, that's a good sound surround that is. I got caught out there. It's really bad timing for my blade master to die, but at the same time he has got like f full health. So he can just come back with full health. Reset the system. Creep with the shadow hunter. Yeah, things went a little bit meh for me there. Like that fiend getting away. My blade master chased all the way from here up to there. He should have just caught up with it quite easily. There's no way a fucking fiend is faster than a blade master. But for whatever reason, he just did that kind of thing where he doesn't really catch up. He pretends to catch up, but doesn't really. So that's freaking annoying, as you can imagine. Blade Master shouldn't be too much longer. This is the part where undead just turn up and start being gay. That is a risky move. Are you 
Gambling man. That's funny. Well, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, it's, it can't be in a good position right now. Not that I'm an expert versus undead, but. I imagine this is slightly stilted him. Yeah, tier two maximum. Sacrificial pit. Wants to see the blade master and what he's up to. I'm getting a nice bit of cash back from this as well. Because I got pillage. So yeah, you can see the gold go up from all of that. Because I thought he was up to something. Because he tried to expand the first game. That's the giveaway really. So he tried to expand the first game. So I figured that... Even on this map, he'd still probably be quite likely to try it again. I'll just have to go and bum rush his altar. Ha! Huh, that is like super mega bad time in there. Although he's gonna last a long time because I've got like no damage here. The weird thing would be is if he actually manages to get this or kill me. Might actually have to run out of this. Oh, Lich is back pretty quick as well. Everything is very messily trying to get back into the middle. He's still keen to give it a go. I've got so much wood I could easily go Tauren. And I've got so many raiders I can ensnare air. I imagine he's probably trying to go for tier 3 right now. Just risking it for the biscuit and also, speaking of which... Look at that fucking... Death Knight sneak out. Even if he kills a shitload of raiders here, he should still be a guaranteed kill. <laughs> Level 2 healing wave goes a long way. Yeah, you 
Mm, should have passed the gloves of haste over earlier. That lich is going to get a good little uh, crossing over off. He's hanging in there, isn't he, by a thread? <laughs> he definitely is. What's that building up there? He has got his tier 3. There's the front boneyard. Could probably take that out. Playing this mega safe. Need something. I am your search to breach. How can I help my power? Are you hero and obey? Yes, Chief Dead. No problem. Yes, Lord. Yes, Master Death is dead. I am yours. Word Pass is there. Excellent choice. Direct research complete. What you want? Yes. Hmm? I am yours. Yes, my power. Yes, Lord. <laughs> he really did risk it again. It's pretty crazy. Who do I kill first? I am yours. What you want? Something to do? Work complete. Yes, Lord. Thanks to my friend. What pride. Oh, need something. Say the word. Why doesn't this block want to happen? <laughs> I could, of course, just ensnare him. That would be easier than using Purge. That's kind of like 4 versus 4 RT mentality there. As I sometimes go shaming quite a lot for certain strategies, so I get used to purging people to stop them, rather than actually using Raiders for ensnare. I'll be back in a quick moment whilst the next thing's getting set up. <coughs>
Sounds nice. Uh, anyone got that link for that straw pole? I can't remember uh, what it was. I guess not. There's quite a few chat bits going on there. You guys are quite active. Well done, you guys in the chat room. There's a game, Jedi Arena. Oh, God. Someone needs to punch him in the face. Definitely has it coming. Straw pole. Okay, well, it looks like the majority of you think I will win, then, very shortly after that people don't even give a shit about the poll and then after that I'll get a couple of games in and then I'll go down and then after that I'll lose well there it is thank you very much for taking part in that poll that's quite amusing and Albert actually linked a poll from a Heroes of the Storm stream I was doing last week where I'm basically asking the people viewing you guys some of you guys I suppose not I don't get so many people watching the Heroes of the Storm stuff but some of you guys uh, basically just choose the hero. So I put up a poll for four heroes like Diablo, Arthas, Tassadar, Vala and uh, you know whoever gets the highest amount of votes is the hero that I play in the next game. It's quite a fun little way to do it and it makes it nice and fresh and I like doing that because I, I can like I say random mostly I can just play anything really. There's very few things that I dislike playing in Heroes of the Storm so it's a good little fun actiony type of game that you can just jump in and have a good go on. Hmm, who's we waiting for? Tickle me first is Albert. I get to watch Albert, what he does. Learn him. Learn him good. I will learn him good. Just waiting for these two players to be ready. <laughs> you got to check whether Albert's cheating or not there. <laughs> it's a high chance of him cheating. We'll see. Oh dear. Well, tonight has definitely been eventful. I have no idea how I'm going to transfer all of this over to um, my YouTube channel because last week was a bit smoother. It was like flat out two hours is the maximum you can export and then it starts uploading from there. So like then one hour or nine minutes, which was one of the cases. But this one, it's been stop and start so much. I just get the feeling that there's going to be like 20 different copies of it and I have no idea how it's going to come over. Probably not very smoothly. So I might have to cut some of the bits out. Anyway, we have an Echo Isles between Albert Einstein and Tickle Me Elmo. Albert is playing as human and Tickle Me Elmo is playing as Night Elf. Good luck to you, to be honest. See if you get Tower Rush within the first five minutes of the game. So Albert's starting off strong. He's getting himself an Altar of the Kings. Can't go too far wrong with that. Then you're going to imagine that the next peasant that comes out might build a farm or a barracks. Something to that degree. Oh, he's going for a farm there. He's going for a barracks. He does it differently. I'd done my build all wrong then when I was doing human. I brought an extra peasant out to build a farm early. But I suppose that means that I could get more units out earlier. Anyway, as we can see, if a tickle me... Ilmo, he's got a good spot here for the Ancient of War creeping on the right hand side. It's a bit trickier to do it on the left hand side, but still doable. I don't know actually, I don't know which one's the best way to do it. I've not seen many Echo Isle games as Night Elf, so... Uh, hit and miss really. On the right hand side, if you do that, you've got easier access I think down to here. It's more hidden against the trees. This side, you've only got these few trees here. And then it's kind of a long walk, and then you in a big empty space between that. But you've got the trees in the middle here, so I think it's slightly better on the right-hand side. But I'm not an expert, like I say. If you think differently, then let me know, because I'm always willing to learn. Reluctantly, but I am willing to learn. So you've got Archmage, no doubt Footman. The build is right, 16 out of 18 food. Footman's coming out. 
But what happens with this farm and this peasant? Oh no, what's going to happen? Is the world going to explode? The next peasant won't be able to come out because the farm won't be finished. Oh no, it's a sacrifice he has to make. Only a few seconds out. But then again, I think that probably saves you anyway on resources. So he's obviously honed his build. Albert just plays human basically almost only for one versus one. Although he can play other races. Don't let him play Night Elf because he's not very good with Night Elf. It's kind of funny to watch him actually play Night Elf. So maybe we should actually get him to play more Night Elf. Because I don't think he has any idea what he's doing with Night Elf. I feel like I have an idea of what I'm doing with Night Elf. But the reality is, is it goes very differently and I end up getting crushed. So I'm clearly still not that good with Night Elf myself. I wish thought it was my race though. It's like my boy. But I haven't quite got it. So where's this hero? Is it a warden? No, it's a demon hunter. Well, Albert likes demon hunters. He's going to pick off the kills here whilst the Ancient of War soaks up the damage and basically helps do a little bit of extra deeps towards these units. That Cobalt Geomancer is asking to get killed. Look at him with his zero medium armor. We'll take a huge whack from the Ancient of War there. Oh, surprise, surprise! What have we got here? Albert's decided to cancel his Archmage. He was just toying with us, which is one thing you can definitely do. So he's either decided to change his mind or he just did that just in case he got scouted to make it look like he actually was building a hero. Which he was, but he can switch it over. So this is a really rough spot to be, but at least Tickle Miyombo has access to this creep camp if he can just finish that off. That way he can get mercs from this, but he's still currently slowed. Footmen are going to be having an easy time versus that. You've got Clockwork Goblins, they do melee damage and uh, they basically explode upon dying. So he's doing a good job getting rid of this pocket factory pretty early, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be only about 15 seconds until you see another pocket factory, probably maximum. It looks like that Demon Hunter is pretty stuck right now. If he can access out of there, mm, can he get to the moon? Well, oh, he does. Just about reaches it. Tinker can't put down another pocket factory because of the mana burns. The peasants need to be doing something. They probably just want to be auto-attacking or at least getting ready to repair. And unfortunately, they can repair really well. You need like two to three archers plus to make a real impact sort of like damage upon the guard towers as they're upgrading. Tickle Me Elmo's not in a terrible position here. He's got himself an item. He's level 2, so he's pretty tanky. He's still got 300 health. Footman won't go through that 300 health very easily. The biggest problem here is if that guard tower gets up. He's got mercs coming out. We've still got this little Geomancer here, but there is a Forest Troll Berserker, and unfortunately it got slow because that Geomancer does have the slow ability. Archers look like they're going to go down, but one of the guard towers actually goes down, so Tickle Me Elmo might be in a good place here. Why doesn't this happen for me when I'm Night Elf? It goes horribly, horribly wrong when I get Tower Rush. A lot of the time, although I did manage to get a little bit lucky, I would say, versus uh, Fire Lord. I worked my ass off to basically do it, but... Things could have really gone south. Looks like the Ancient of War has decided to uproot himself since he's unable to build any more units because of the gold deficiency. So that's a pretty good idea there. Get him up into the action. Just don't want to get surrounded with that Demon Hunter. Even though he's got the evasion and he's going to miss every now and then. In fact, he could actually sit on that Goblin Tinker who is average speed. Demon Hunter is fast so he's going to seal the kill here and actually force Albert to teleport back out. So is Albert going to commit to this? That guard tower is still halfway through. He's still got footmen there. Is he going to come back over with his Goblin Tinker? I suppose he's going to try his luck. It's not necessarily over for Albert. It could still go either way. But we have got a Forest Troll Berserker doing some nice damage at the back there. Taking care of that guard tower. We've got five peasants looking rather miserable. and not sure what to do with themselves. I guess they've given themselves a job. It looks like a scout tower is the thing for them. Archers are being picked off. There's still more footmen flooding in. So as you can see, even when it looks like it hasn't worked, it's still kind of working. It's unbelievable. The Tinker's obviously not got any way to regenerate health or anything like that, apart from the long walk back over with natural regeneration. So he's probably just going to get focused as soon as he comes in. But he does manage to get one pocket factory off. It's in a position though where it's going to get kind of very quickly killed. So maybe Abbott wanted to position that closer up the top there. Just to make sure he could definitely get longevity out of it. So that was a little bit of a mistake there I think. But that's basically just saying from hindsight. Footman slipping in here. We've got a decent chunk of archers range. So you've got three archers, your range and of course your shadow troll priest. And it does look like Albert has actually been stopped. There you go. That's how it's done. Oh, if only I could do that. Well done Tickle Me Elmo. Well done. Tickle Me Elmo's in the finals. Not quite. But he could be. That human castle was 40 people in the channel now. Hello to everyone in the channel. Well done. And hello to everyone in the chat room. Every now and then, when the game is over, I actually have a moment. I'll look down, I'll glance upon the screen, and I will see your thoughts. And apparently Gizmo thinks he has hacks. And Shadow XX 
Is that for real or is that sarcasm? Jedi strike back, strikes back. Hang on. This is funny. Now the names are starting to make sense. Oh, Twisted Meadows, we like that one. Yeah, Shadow thinks he's overconfident. Looks like uh, Albert might have to calm it down a little bit. My sunshine, if you are on the stream, I'm afraid you are currently unavailable, so I can't whisper you. I have joined. <laughs> I'm at the t I'm like second in apparently. I must have been quick. It's very uh Gizmo quoting there. I actually forgot the name of it now. There's a name Unholy Grail. There you go, Monty Python. That's it. The name came to me. I could actually think of the work and the productions that they've done, but I couldn't actually think of the actual name. Ah, I wonder if that's deliberate or whether Albert slightly slipped up there. It looks like there's a gap in between here, but he is against a Night Elf, so it doesn't really matter too much having a gap there, apart from maybe Huntresses being able to slip through. Ah, looks like he did actually fuck up. I can't guarantee it, but I was assuming it, and uh, Albert confirms it, so there you go. Assumption confirmation. Ha. Huh. So, Ancient of War going down here for Tickle Me Elmo. Of course, this is Twisted Meadows. I'm not sure if I actually stated that. We've got our human player, Albert, at the bottom left. And we've got Tickle Me Elmo at the bottom right. I wonder if he's going to mix up his hero. Or he's still going to stick true towards the uh, Demon Hunter. Because it did serve him well in the last game. So I don't see why he shouldn't keep doing it. A beefy Demon Hunter. Oh, a level 6 Demon Hunter. Can you imagine it? That would be pretty damn good. And level 3 Mana Burn as well. Minus 150 Mana on the Archmage. In a strange way, it actually makes the Archmage's Brilliance Aura, which is an incredibly powerful aura, somewhat redundant, because it actually, you know, brings back mana quickly, but if there's a Demon Hunter always around, you're kind of feeding him the ability to do damage to you, and if you can't get units out of that mana, or any use out of that mana, yikes. It's kind of funny how it backfires on you a little bit. Ah, it does look like it is Demon Hunter. Oh ho ho, it's Demon Hunter, one archer coming out here, he's going to go for the risky uh, creep. Not super risky versus human, because humans will almost always creep their goblin in the laboratory, even if they know that the Night Elf is really nearby, they'll probably still go and do it. Because if done successfully, you get like halfway through level 2, and an awesome item, so this map is incredibly favoured towards human, at least at the very start of the game. I couldn't tell you how favoured it is as the game progresses. Oh, it looks like one malicious going down there. That's a light, slight mishap. It looks like Albert might be panicking here. A little bit of the old panic coming through. And he's going for the troll high priest. Good idea. Maybe back onto the golem. He's running out of water elemental. He has still got this water elemental. What really hurt him is that one of those water elementals, I think, must have been ensnared at the start, so it wasn't taking damage. When a water elemental is in range of creeps, those creeps will focus it because it's a summon unit. It's basically programmed to do so, and it's thank goodness for that. So if you bring your summon unit into it, the creeps are going to go, okay, this unit is here to tank and take away, you know, all the issues from me. But when it's ensnared, the creeps no longer see it as a threat, so then they start going for your units, such as Militia, or Footman, or whatever is nearby. Tickle me Elmo, picking up a Shadow Troll Priest. As you can see, Albert is almost halfway through level 2. Ooh, well. When you get a Robe of the Magi plus 6 within like the first few minutes of the game, I think you can afford to lose like a Footman, a few Militia. It really isn't that big a deal. Is that Footman going to get away? He does. The Wisp actually got ensnared there and the Footman just sneakily gets away. Going to expect to see a shop at some point, otherwise that Footman's not going to regenerate any health for a long time. Demon Hunter coming in here. So close. Oh, you were so close. Tickle me. So close for a sexy mana burn before another Water Elemental comes out. And he's not going to find what he's after. Albert. Definitely going to bring out another water elemental, but the problem is, is both of these Noel Wardens have the ability called Purge, and they like to use it. Now, they don't always use it on the right thing, and I've not worked out the creeping pattern, but apparently Albert has. If you put your units close enough, it apparently forces them to use Purge on those units instead of... Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> yep, they can quite freely use it on your water elementals and basically one-shot them practically, so it's kind of funny that. That was a bit unfortunate. But if Albert gets this creep camp, he's going to be quite happy. 
because his Archmage will hit level 3. He'll get another good item from it. But he's not going to have much in the way of units to deal with this. And it looks like he's going for a Blacksmith, so he's going to be switching up to Rifles, and then probably later on Casters and Priests, and Sorks, and, well, Casters, Spellbreakers. He's in a lot of trouble, because he actually has lost units here, and he hasn't been macroing by the looks of it. He's basically been macroing like I am macroing. So he's not been building the units he's needed to be built. So Tickle Me Elmo is at 30 food at the moment, Albert 22 food, so he's slightly underneath, but he does have the power of the militia, providing that Tickle Me Elmo doesn't have the position or the power to sort of pick off these militia very easily, but he does do a good, pretty good job, but the archers are still taking a lot of damage here, despite the micro efforts from us. Uh, Tickle Me Elmo, hmm, he's fine with his Demon Hunter, he can take a hit, plus he's got greater healing potions, so don't forget that. Archmage can also take a little bit of a hit. Ring of Protection plus two isn't a terrible item for him, but it ain't a great item. I think the Robe of the Magi goes a lot better. So Tickle Me Elmo, still got a few units left here. Militia basically being transferred back and forth. The healthy ones are still coming out. The injured ones are basically dying or going back to base, and eventually he's going to have only injured Militia left. And he's just got a Demon Hunter denying any possible mana for a level 2 Water Elemental. Because a level 3 Archmage is a very powerful thing, because that's when you typically go and attack your opponent. You go and attack your opponent at level 3, because you start to get these level 2 Water Elementals, which are incredibly powerful, particularly at the time that you have them. I can't remember the exact stats, but they're like huge tanks, and they do really good DPS. They last for ages, and you can get 2 to 3 of them, depending on the mana that you currently have. So, when you've got basically no mana like Albert does and you're level 3. It's kind of unfortunate and it's a sad thing to see. He really wants to get a clarity pop but this demon hunter is just going to come back in here and say hi to the archmage. Hello archmage. How are you doing? How's your mana? That is a bad mana demon hunter. But the good news is I guess is the demon hunter is kind of low health now so it's going to be harder for him to keep up this harass. Albert is switching his way towards rifles. I think this is the latest thing he's been doing lately. Uh, with his build. Oh wow, that greater healing potion basically means that that demon hunter is all the way back up to full health. Even I forgot about that and I spoke about it just a moment ago. That really changes things. You can see how hugely that changes things. That's the difference between running away and completely and utterly winning and dominating your space. So wow, that one item. Pretty huge. Albert is definitely in a lot of trouble here. He's reached his tier 2. He's got loads of gold but he can't use it because he's not able to really have any space to build Arcane Sanctums, he's going to have to get them up. He's trying to get rifles out, but they build rather slowly. And now a second hero is coming out here for Tickle Me Elmo. Very well played here. The second hero is just going to give him so much more assertiveness and dominance over this space. The Frost Arrows obviously allows the Demon Hunter to catch up with his prey and pick units off. So, wow, like I say, uh, like, like the Jacobean says, this is rough. That is in exactly what I would say. It is very rough indeed. There are a few units, they're not amazing units, but they are more units than Albert currently has in his possession, and their dryads coming out. So those dryads are going to be very pesky, and if Albert does manage to get enough mana for any more water elementals, those dryads are probably going to end up uh, abolish magic in it, because he's also researching that. Uh, we've got a Shredder coming out here, a little bit of DPS. In fact, he does a lot of DPS to archers if he can reach them, but he also takes a lot of damage and down goes the Archmage. A hundred mana burns there. Mountain King is out slightly too late and Albert is out! So you don't actually get me versus Albert. What do you know? Question is, is Tickle Me Elmo? Is he going to have what it takes? We'll see. He has got the Night Elf Flare. Poor little Mountain King is a little bit confused right now, but he actually is kind of making his way out. But the Demon Hunter coming in there, the 66 mana burn, the last hit from the Dryad. Down goes the Mountain King. Yikes. Albert really does obviously have nothing here. There is no way he can possibly come back in this game, and he's kind of frustrated, as you can see. Things just didn't go well. It started off rough with um, the farm not being built right next to the altar, or rather the altar not being built right next to the farm. I think you've just got to get the altar next to the wood. That's it. You don't need to get any closer to the wood. As long as it's touching... Oh God. As long as it's touching wood, you're good. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that little memo, and you can uh, take that as you will. Okay. Now seems like a really good time to sort of pimp my little channel a little bit, although a lot of you are here from Witty Warcraft. Those that aren't, if you want to... I really need to put this down. I'll put it down here so I can just not pause the stream so easily. And it's not www. I don't have my own domain yet. Maybe. At some point. 
Multi Warcraft, there you go. And then the same goes for Facebook.com. Uh, Facebook slash Witty Warcraft, I assume. Dot com. I don't even know that's right. Because I don't often go there. But I do post everything I do on it. There you go. I'll put that in the chat room for you little fellas if you're interested in what I'm doing. Just in case some of you are curious, you're like, who is this guy? What is he about? I do actually have a channel that's dedicated to Warcraft 3. So you can check out the links and, uh, yeah. <laughs> who just played? We don't actually know if it's Elmo playing. Oh, right. Yeah, he's pretty good. Could be Domino, possibly. He's pretty good with Night Elf. Back in a quick second. I've got to log in again to my uh, Twitch page. Oh, Terra Vault played for him. We'd love to hear from you regardless. <laughs> so. Channel's full, says Tickle Me Elmo. He is eliminated. So what, there's cheating going on? Cheating afoot? Anyway, let me put this post down. So feel free to check out that link. <laughs> That's funny. Cheating in a tournament. Is he definitely cheating? Do we know that? I'm... I'm... I mean, he was playing very well, so it's possible. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that was a really dirty play there, to be honest. What link? The link's in the chat room, dudes. Well, it should have gone down there. Facebook.com slash wittywarcraft.com Have I done it wrong? What's the capitals with the com? What's that all about? Alright, so if you are also interested in helping me out, if you do want to help me out, uh, sorting out software, hardware, anything that improves the channel, goodness knows I could do with some of it, to be quite frank with you, with the freaking crap that was going on earlier. I need to get all that kind of stuff fixed. Um, I have a little Patreon at the moment, which is basically like a Kickstarter, but it's like a monthly kind of thing where you can just pledge a dollar or two or whatever it is you feel comfortable with to help support the channel and keep me doing what I'm doing basically it helps me to put more time into this because it does take a lot of time to do rendering and all the thumbnails and everything else that goes behind the scenes I love doing it and I really want to keep doing it I'd love to make it my living but that's obviously a stage further down the line so obviously everything I do is free there's no way you are you know I'm demanding that you do this or you know I'm just simply asking it's just a case of if you are interested in helping me out you like what I do and you thought well I wouldn't mind helping him out then you know click on the patreon link that I put in and uh, feel free to donate but it takes a moment to create an account and you can do it with PayPal or a card or whatever it is and uh, I'll do a proper video and all of that and I'm gonna update the rewards so the rewards aren't currently how they are. Well, there will be more rewards for like $1, $3, $5, that sort of thing. So um, in case you're interested, I'll put the link down.
post my Kickstarter. I don't have a Kickstarter page, I just have the Patreon at the moment because the way I figure it is, as I see this as more of a kind of living style, you know, this is what I do. I basically post Warcraft free videos almost on a daily basis, you know. There are sometimes a day or two where I can't quite make it. That's generally down to the fact that I've got to upload the videos as well and they take hours to upload and they then need to process afterwards. So it's not actually technically ready to be watched. And if it was ready to be watched, it was 360p, so there's no point announcing it until it's properly ready. I don't think it is 40%. That sounds very high. It's only probably 40% if it's like $1. I think the higher the dollar amount you put in, the less that they take or something like that, but I don't know the ex exact figures of it. But um, yeah, it's just a little easy way to sort of like fund the channel and keep me doing what I'm doing. Anyway, when's this next game? 1v1 slash 2 versus 2. Is that actually for someone else? Who knows? Right. What's going on then? Is uh, Tickle Me Elmo actually a uh, banned or kicked out. I better check the brackets and see whether they've updated it. Yeah, so um, there's the link to the brackets at the moment in the chat room. So uh, yeah, it does look like it's myself versus Albert. It almost looks like it's been rigged to be so. Did seem similar to Sexy Time to be honest. Would be his style of play. Given Sexy Time your account is very dangerous though. Very dangerous business. <laughs> See, to get an official sexy time versus Albert game. I would actually probably put that, I'd obviously have to play, speak to the players, but I would probably put that as one of the um, milestone goals on the Patreon, where if it reached, you know, so many dollars, then I'd get that set up, and I'd put in a prize pool, obviously with the funding that's being created from it, put in a prize pool for the players, because I don't think Sexy Dan wants to play Albert, really, publicly, unless he's like sneakily like this. So, in order to get him to play it properly, you got to have some sort of little prize pool that might be enough to sway him over for like and if I did a like a first and second place when there's only two players that way they'd definitely still both play but the second place would be like obviously a very small amount <laughs> it's the taking part that counts <sighs> best of seven oofers no oofa party is actually what it all comes down to because that is pure micro oofa party because there's no macro in it, there's nothing to worry about in that sense. Pure micro. Well, let's get this cracking, shall we? Ah! Sexy time will be flattered. Let's see if it was sexy time. I think it's either Domino... Terravol or Sexy Time. I don't know. I wasn't keeping a track on Sexy Time at the time. It was someone though, apparently, because it does look like Tickle Me Elmo has somewhat accepted defeat. What's with these names? Back in a moo.
Ugh. Oh god, Turtle Rock, I didn't even see that the first time. Fuck me. How cause he gets to pick anyway? There's some sort of bot issue going on here or something? I don't know. bit nippier these days. I was too hot earlier, or last week. Now I'm actually kind of cold. The weather changes very quickly. Let's hope there isn't any lag. Let's hope there isn't. Patiently waiting. I did actually tell him last week, I think, that Turtle Rock once a month. So this is his second one, so I'll have to count that into the second month. So he can't have Turtle Rock for another two months then. Does live in Mother Russia. He has a bottle sticking out of his neck from a f pub fight he got in last night, and he doesn't even need to take it out of his neck because he's hard. He's got a neck like a tree trunk. Hmm. Yeah, that was sexy time then, was it? unbanned him so he could hop on and play or something. Bizarre. He's rigging the games. It should be saying Witty playing Warcraft 3. Last I checked. Ready. Ready. Ready to go. Let's do this. Well, there it is. Turtle Rock, of course. One versus one, Orc versus Human, Gagoo versus Albert on frickin' Turtle Rock. Something you do we have. have fun with that. I can do that. Oh, it is laggy. Yeah, it's definitely this bot that's being used. Mm -hmm. That is very laggy. Happy to. Ready to work. All the other bots were fine, but this one's a... Yeah, why? What's the deal with that? Oh god. Now that! <laughs> yeah. That's pretty bad. That's not my fucking shadow play, by the way. Is that the same person? No, you're saying that. You said that last time. That's the bot! You can see these guys are saying use the good bot. They were actually having a whole discussion about using a different bot. That's the bot, not the actual stream. That's causing that. They used a bad bot. 
Otherwise, how were all the other games flawless in terms of actual sort of gameplay and smoothness? Rigged bot. bot is definitely very rigged. One, only donate if you actually are in a position where it wouldn't hurt you to do so and it's something you want to do. Otherwise you still get all my content for free and everything like that. There might be some rewards for like if you are a donator or something like that on Patreon, something like having access to the Patreon um chats and stuff like that. I'll probably have a live forum there or something. I haven't quite looked into it properly, but there will be something like that where you can always contact me with strategies or but uh, yeah, obviously, only do it if you actually want to do it, and uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, basically. You know, it's it's purely optional, obviously. It's just a little something to help. If you want to help, then thank you very much. If you're not so interested in helping, you just want to watch the videos anyway, then continue to do so. It, it's just, it is what it is. Mm-mm. Alright, I'll reset. how much the game sexy versus Albert is. Well, that's the thing. I wouldn't actually um, ever put up like false goals or milestones to try to get people to do something. I would have to contact both Sexy Time and Albert. And Sexy Time's a lot more temperamental. Make sure that they actually yeah, are willing to play it. Absolutely make sure that they would play it. And then go through all the discussion of how much the prize pool would be if a certain thing was raised and all of this. And if it would definitely be happening, then obviously I'll put a, a, a fun a milestone up there or something for the channel. And uh, we could get that game going or something like that. So obviously, don't worry about it for now. Because it's something I'll have to chat about. It says you're playing DOS. Yeah, I know. That was weird. What's that about? I mean, Twitch is... Why is it so... Mm. I'm going to have to keep checking on that. Okay, well technically now the stream does say uh, it's... what do you call it? Warcraft 3, the frozen frame. As most people like to say, Warcraft Free. Okay, well, technically the frozen now the for does Rome. Say. It 
So that should be set up now, if people do want to start watching again. I guess they can't find it if they actually search for me specifically on... Because it's... I'm not technically playing Warcraft 3, I'm playing DOS, or I was. How does it even do that? When was I playing DOS in the first place? DOS isn't even a game. At least I don't think it is. It's a bloody software program a long time ago. Anyway, here we are. Turtle Rock. Maybe it's happening this time. Orc versus human. Let's have some fun. Large temptation to go, uh... Farseer first. But we'll see. I'll actually scout and see if he is nearby. If he's nearby, then I'll go Farseer. If not, then I won't. Yeah, I am not sexy. I'm not as good as sexy time. Nowhere near it. So you'll have an easier time versus me, that's for sure. Is he nearby? Oh, I don't think he is. Nope. That's unfortunate. Okay, maybe I'll just go fast here anyway. That'll throw him off his game. I think that would. Although I almost always play Blade Master, so I don't know why I suddenly mix it up now and put myself in a position of danger. Actually, no, I will still go Blade Master. I'll go with what I'm comfortable with at the moment because I haven't played fast here properly. I don't really play fast here properly either. It's not particularly hard or anything like that, but it's risky to do so. So if I'm going to do it, I've got to do it right. So my build is definitely very different to how I've normally done it. I'm just winging it at the moment. Where are you? He's going safe build. Tower. He knows towers. He likes his towers. Thinks I'm there. It's going to be harass Albert Day. Sit on that Archmage. Let him stew. Probably be going for boots of speed. He'd probably be creeping actually with his other units. But that's okay. I'll allow it. There you go. He is. I wonder what's making him be so aggressive now. Yes, 
It's kind of feeding me experience here. Kind of screwed here. for a very heavy summon build so we can just keep dominate me I'm turtle rock fucking sucks I can't build anywhere without basically my stuff being on the outside there's like nowhere to do it I can't hex it huh He's already got Sorks coming. This is a terrible build from me so far. And wood is very scarcely being coming in. Yes, 
Come on, don't jip me out. Oh, you jipping me out. Yeah, I got jipped out. Yep, I got very heavily jipped out there. Now Albert just goes basically mass casters and press stops. So yeah, it's game over. I can't do shit here. Oh, that was a good little jipping out. Good little jipping out there. He got so lucky with that shit. So heavily lucky. I've got too many peons again, so it just keeps happening. Fuck slow. What can you do? What can you do? It's human mass cast is bullshit. Right, well, I've really got to ban this map. I think this map has to be banned. This is fucking bullshit. Good map, mate. Serious space. Fucking brilliant. Had no fucking space to build my spirit lodge, so it basically got delayed for like six years. Fucking stupid shit. So easy mode to go that human build. It's the easiest shit in the game. Easiest shit in the game. Casters, press stop. That's it. That's all you do. That's all you do. You press stop outside an opponent's base and you win. Fucking easy mode. So fucking easy. It wasn't even a case of my macro slipping. I just couldn't fucking build the buildings to get my units in the first place because of the fucking map. There was no space for it. So, what the fuck do you want me to do? Such a fucking terrible map, that. TM. I think he just somehow, because, okay, no, it's alright, I'll just be quiet now, I won't say anything at all, and I'll concentrate, and we'll see what happens.
no such thing as luck. Especially in my case. Fuck all the luck. Excellent choice. Are you hero and obey? Yes. Oh, what do you want? Yes. Are you hero and obey? Huh? Excellent choice. Hey. Are you hero and obey? Oh. What do you want? Oh. Yes, yes, Lord. What do I you am want? yours. Excellent yes. choice. Hmm? Something. Like. Oh. Take your time. Look around. What task is there? Yes, yes, Lord. Oh, I am here. Master? Oh, yes, yes. Lord. Oh, excellent choice. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Huh? Hey. I am here. Oh. Oh. Taste of my blade. Excellent choice. Yes. What do you want? Can't build there. I am master. yours. 
Real shame I don't have pillage. I wonder how many resources this is using up. He'll be coming to my base soon. Because he'll hit tier 2. That's fucking ridiculous. You can't tell me that's not fucking ridiculous. How he can just slice through those burrows. Like, that is fucking ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm not even being funny now. That is fucking ridiculous. He plays such an easy mode, it's ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. There's like no words for that shit, you know? That is absolutely disgusting. He knows it. He fucking knows it. There is no way in a billion years anyone should be able to do that. That is so utterly disgusting. Like, I want as to how fucked up that is. I really do. Just yes. disgusting. Oh. What do you want? 
I am yours. Yes! Master, what do you want? Urge task is there. Excellent choice. Just fucking... No words for this shit. No words for this shit. He's so fucking unskilled. He just does the same shit every fucking game. I just go Archmage, fucking Beastmaster, and Mass Summons. What more could you need to do? It's the easiest shit in the fucking game. Zero skill. Zero skill involved. Could not be easy. Look, these fucking summons just do all the work for him. There's no words for this shit. I'm giving two more games and see. It's so fucking... I'm not getting outplayed by a person, I'm just getting outplayed by summons. The computer, basically. Fucking disgusting. Go Archmage, summon Water Elementals, go Beastmasters, summon Quill Beasts. Press stop. So fucking disgustingly dirty style of play. That really does irk me a little bit because I'm getting beaten by someone that's not better than me. I'm just getting beaten by someone that fucking masses units that I can't do shit about. I went full grunts actually. I had five grunts. I went more grunts than I would normally go and was fully aggressive there. It doesn't fucking work. Humans just fucking counter it so hard. Yeah, I'll have to go human mirror or something like that. I think that's what I have to do. And just sort of practice human to the nth degree and then force him out of playing human. There is no way in a billion years Albert is fucking better than me. No way. Not with that shit. I'm not getting beaten by someone that's better than me. Sexy time or something like that will out micro the shit out of me. That's better. Albert will just go basically fucking casters and press stop. Or go tier 2 summon rush. Which he always fucking does. Now are you, I mean honestly? Can you honestly say that Albert never ever goes Archmage and Beastmaster? How many games have you seen him do that? It's every fucking game. It's the same shit. My TP was gone. What can you do? It's fucking disgusting. I didn't get outplayed by that. I got outplayed by fucking just massive summons. I had like 12 peons surrounding those fucking burrows and they still couldn't out repair it. You can't tell me that's fucking balanced. Whereas a human can have like four peasants outside a farm repairing it and fucking five grunts and a blade master can't kill it. You do the math. That's just so disgusting. Anyway, I've got things to do I suppose. So fuck it. I hope you had fun. And uh, that'll do, to be honest. Well, at least I know that it still works outside of it. That's interesting, but if I go into Warcraft 3, what happens? They're not tabbing. <laughs>